Can you clean the inside of a toilet bowl without using liquid cleaners? The answer is yes, you can, and I'm gonna show you how. For this project, we're gonna use heavy duty paper towels. Those are bounty. I'm gonna put those up here. I'm also gonna use an old, worn out, non-scratch scrub sponge. And the reason that I'm using this is because I'm gonna to have to get down in there with my hand. We're gonna to toss this when we're done. If you have old sponges, save them for this reason. Okay, so what are we gonna use? We're gonna use Barkeeper's Friend. Now, if you look at Barkeeper's Friend, it's been around since 1882. That means it's a reliable product because it's still here. Now, it's good on stainless steel and porcelain and ceramic. So one of the things that's important about this is this is a porcelain or a ceramic coating inside the toilet, so it's perfectly safe. All right, now, if we look at the back of the Barkeeper's Friend, it says in the bathroom, use BKF, BKF stands for Barkeeper's Friend, to clean sinks, tubs, showers, faucets, toilets, tile, and grout. BKF will quickly and completely remove mineral deposits, soap scums, and rust stains. Now, one of the things that we notice here is below the water line, there is no rust and no hard water. So this is just a surface stain. Now that it's probably built up from neglect and what have you. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is flush the toilet. And by flushing the toilet, what that did is that brought water down from the insides of the toilet and it got my, my ring wet. So now I'm gonna take my barkeeper's friend and I'm just going to put a bunch of this inside here. And I'm gonna put a bunch right here on the edge because I'm gonna scoop it around and make a little paste. Now what I would really like to do is I would like for there to be less water around that ring. So I'm gonna grab the plunger here and I'm gonna just gently remove some of that water. All right, so now I'm gonna be able to get, and I'll put this here because this floor is very dirty. We're gonna to have to clean this whole area in just a minute. Now I'm going to take the scrub uh, toilet brush and I'm just gonna kind of pull this around here, creating kind of a paste. And you'll see that some of it comes up, some of it does not. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to get in there heavy duty light. So I'm gonna let that set for about two minutes. After two minutes, that's gonna kind of break all of that down. And then I'm gonna come in with a wet non-scratch scrub sponge. I'm gonna put some more Barkeeper's Friend on here. We'll scrub the rest of that out and we'll be good to go. All right, so now I'm back. It's been about two minutes and I'm gonna put some old cloths here on the floor because this floor is pretty dirty as well. I've got my old sponge here. I've got more Barkeeper's Friend. I'm just gonna get the toilet ring wet here. This is all wet. And I'm gonna put some on here. And I'm gonna start here in the toilet and I'm gonna come around here. And this is like a hard water line where there has been a lot of buildup. All right, that's it and it came right off. I'm gonna go up and underneath the ring here and the inside of this ring here. And that's it. That was nasty. This is gonna get thrown away along with my gloves and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna spray the rest of the toilet. What I'm gonna use for the rest of the toilet is I'm gonna use original crud cutter and this is a degreaser that's gonna get all the rest of this stuff and allow me to clean it like normal. And now we're gonna go and flush the toilet. Voila! All right, now with this, before I go anywhere else, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my glove and I'm gonna to toss this. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put new gloves on and I'm gonna wash the toilet the regular way.